Their hands are interlocked in a death grip. What? Why would you describe it that way? That's so weird. And they're not. <laughs> they're touching fingertips. A death grip? Kaede, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> You're like, oh my god, it's a death grip. It's far from that. Both of them, they look so happy. Yeah, you don't need to be here. You don't need to be in this relationship. They can have their fun. In this moment, they are the only ones in this water world. You just keep reinforcing what I'm saying. I'm just an outsider observer. <laughs> I'm so glad that Kaede realized she's the third wheel as well. I'm so glad that he doesn't fucking matter in the least bit. Oh, I really hope. <laughs> Wisdom of Elanites, it is your... I really hope you guys, you guys can't hear when I fart. Because, man, I hear it and I smell it right now. But I didn't do it. And we'll go back to the Soccer Swim Club. Oh, that was extra stonky, bro. <laughs> Ulipsy's welcome. That last episode with Cry Cry. The full reality of it hasn't really come to me yet. I'm really going to be competing in a swimming tournament. A tournament which is probably going to define my future for me. Miyako and Hirome have high hopes for me, but I'm still not sure about it myself. Confidence! Have confidence! They have confidence in you! Believe in the you that believes in them believing in you. They believe in you. Believe them. Do it. Can I really compete with people who have been training their whole lives? I only just got in the pool a while ago. I don't believe that's true. I don't know what your definition of a little while is. <laughs> but man, even... Just listen to the compliments they gave you in the last episode, Kaede. Especially Malko. She was like, yeah, it's hard for me to keep up with you now. Never think keeping pace with you has been a bitch. You have improved from hardly being able to swim to being a master. Even with those two training me, I still don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off. The gauntlet has been thrown down by my father. With those bad grades, this is my last chance to prove it to him that I can really accomplish something here. There will be no failing this tournament. If I come first, then there's no way that he would make me transfer away. Despite all that though, dude, you still have to keep passing your classes to stay in school. If you're in the swim club and you win a tournament, that doesn't keep you in school. Bro, like, I don't know how this shit works, and I asked in the last episode, I was like, wait, 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 wait. He still has to pass his grades and shit to be able to stay in school. I mean, for this, yes. For as far as the tournament and the length of it goes, he could stay in school because of his dad, whatever. But I believe that if you fail, they'll make you retake the grade or whatever, I don't think they'll throw you out. But if you don't pass, you don't actually go anywhere in school. What? Am I uh, not understanding how school works? That if you fail, you don't go anywhere. <laughs> in terms of th the schooling. I want to prove to myself that I'm not really a loser. You have been proven... To me, proving to me so many times they're just that you're really fucking dumb and like grind my teeth annoying when it comes to like affection and shit and just like you're weird and you're frustrating, Kaede, and you're kind of stupid. 
I don't know if loser fits into that, but you are a lot of things that just make me mad. This is my chance. This is my opportunity to show that I can do something for myself. This is my chance. Once I can finally find satisfaction in what I do, then I will finally be able to find my way. But this shouldn't just be about me. I shouldn't just do it for myself. Should do it for those two as well. That's again what I said in the last episode. The thing that I said in the last episode again was the fact that when he threw in the towel and avoided everything and just gave up and was okay with leaving, he disrespected them and all the effort that they put in and them were lying on him for the tournament and everything and the love that they showed for each other and wanted to be together. He was just like, fuck it. Fuck them. It is for them as well. It would be selfish of me not to try to do my best for them. Damn fucking right, Kaede. Thank you for expressing the shit that I said an entire episode ago. Now. Especially after they tried their best for you. Oh my god. This man. Thank you. We are one mind again. However, it took you an entire next episode to realize this shit. But I guess you caught up eventually. So, yay. <laughs> I can't get over those feelings of anxiety. I, I can't get over these feelings of anxiety I have. With this competition looming down on me, I feel like I've locked up. I can't break up about... What is my reading today? I can't break out of this mental block I have. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Are they going to help me with that through sexiness or I don't know how, but they'll probably help me. I'm scared. More scared than I've ever been in my life. And that fear is strangling me right now. Take a deep breath is the next option. No, you don't want to ignore it. That's not smart. Okay, so the next decision is take a little deep breath. And the last one is, yes, I did. So after this choice, we only have one choice left in the game. Wow, we're winding down. I thought I might be, get, be getting close to the end. But then I wasn't so sure with all the shit that we had to still go through. But we're going to take a deep breath and just chill. Like strangling ourselves with our anxiety is not going to help. Just take a deep breath, Kaede. We got this. I take a deep breath. Sure enough, they're both here. I was taking a deep breath. And why does she look like the pissed one? <laughs> I was taking a deep breath. I was being strangled by my anxiety. Excuse me for a second while I deal through that emotion. <laughs> Chalening. <laughs> Chalening. <laughs> oh my god, that's all. Oof. <laughs> Yay. So, Kaida. I know that. Understood. Miyako looks really fired up about this. Damn right she should be. You need to match her energy, my friend. So the competition with my love is over officially, right? <laughs> uh, we're just focused on this now? Okay. Alright, sounds good. I will, I promise. Of course I'm going to take it seriously. If not, all this goes away. And no, I'm stuck with my dad constantly staring at me as I do work I don't want to fucking do. I'm going to go with both of you in this. 
あなたが本気で何かをしているところって見たことがないわ。I know. I can be a flaky lion bitch. でも信じてるわよ。Thank you. I do mean it. I really do. じゃあもっとわかりやすく言いなさいよね。I mean it. I really do. I mean it. I will work myself to the bone. We're going on to all do our best for this tournament. I paused for a moment, considering that I just wrecked my throat and my voice doing that. And、uh, that, that sounded really fucking dumb, but it's okay. It's very rare that I ever shout about anything. Especially like, yeah! I shouldn't have done that. But this time, it just sure as shirt. It just sort of came out of me. I am not able to read today. Miko is smiling at me. Yeah, I saw that before. Hanta, you guts got it. I got it. Okay, cool. I don't know how to take that. I mean, absolutely, in certain situations. <laughs> Yeah! I do actually. Damn right! Hey! Damn right! Damn right! Damn right! Boo yeah! I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, thank you so much, Hero May, Miyoko. I've been realizing that I haven't really been addressing them by their names. I've been calling them girls or ladies or stuff like that. Which is kind of just like off putting to me now that I realize it. But、uh, I will try harder not to do that. <laughs> it just boils them down to their traits, not them. I don't know why it bugged me so much, but I also kind of know why it bugged me so much. It was like instead of going, hey, you, you by your name, it's more of like, them, them ladies, though, and them, them girls. It kind of devalues them for a second and also, like, makes me slap a label of these. Like, I don't care about them as much as I should. It's just weird for me. I don't know, it was weird for me. I'm gonna try to stop that. We're gonna have to train harder than ever before. But I'm no longer wavering. Their determination has rubbed off on me. We're going to do this, no matter what. So, <laughs> <laughs> I love the voice acting. I love the enthusiasm. It's so good. Both of them look at me expectantly from the other side of the pool. Welcome to being stoned again, Hirome. <laughs> I get it and thank you. I don't doubt it for a minute. I need no further approval from them. For them. As I dive into the pool, it all comes naturally to me. It's as if I'm flying rather than swimming. I like this music. That beat is nice. To the niceness. No longer held back by my fear. I feel as if I could drift through the blue waters effortlessly. Cool. I won't leave this place! I won't leave behind Hirome and Miyako! Both of them. I just hope that things will work out okay. No! I can't hope! I will make sure that things work out okay! This is my moment in the sun! And I will not be held back by anything! This time, 
No matter how many laps they send me on, I don't tire. Nice. <laughs> I like this music. I'm sorry I'm listening to it. I don't know, I'm secretly a robot. I don't know! I guess I'm just determined. Hiromoi just shakes her head. I mean, you said when you first met me and shit, you kind of thought I'd be like my father, and then you were like pleasantly surprised that I wasn't. It was a little insulting at first, but I guess this is good. Yeah, because I don't want to be the only one making progress here. We should all be pushing each other to get better, not just me. We should all be matching each other's energy and getting the best of the best of the best that we are. And even further beyond. Hecky yeah! Hecky yeah! Believe me, I have no intention of backing down. Thank you, Mikey. <laughs> I still... but I do... thank you. Let's just say thank you. She really does mean it. I don't think I've seen her puff up her cheeks like this before. Something inside me can't... Something inside of me can't help but feel moved by her spirit. Even though she's so angry, there's something undeniably sweet about her. Yeah, because she's the one who don't take no shit and will push you there and beyond. And she will do it with anger but love in her heart. <laughs> Believe me, Mirko, I wouldn't dream of it. For a moment, I just stand there, looking back at the pool. Who would have known that my future would have been determined by a hole in the ground with some water in it? Wow! Way to boil down what a pool is! <laughs> it almost felt kinda harsh, but it was just like, nice. Nailed it. Listen, I just want to say thank you to you both. It honestly isn't something that I have said very often in my life. Please know that I truly am grateful. Thank you, both of you. You've changed my life. But with benefits, though. Hey! <laughs> Friends, hey! At each other, don't they? Damn right, I'm a genius. Not.私、それって本当にそうだと思うわ。え。でも、それを練習に持ち込むのはダメよ。泳いでいる時は集中力を失わないことの方が大切なのよ。うん。さあ、もう一回練習しましょう。あと2往復よ。帰れ。オーライ。Mirko was sounding like a drill sergeant at the moment. Hey, sometimes that's what a motherfucker needs, and motherfucker, you need it. Eagerly, I dive back in, racing my way through another lap. I think we'll be ready. No. You know. <laughs> no, I know we'll be ready. No, I don't think. I'm sure we'll be ready. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been this tired before. All I want to do right now is go home and get some rest. I'm about to walk out, but I see Hirome and Miyoko just standing there in their swimsuits. The atmosphere feels odd? I think I'll hang back and see what's happening. Are we gonna get a CG? What are they gonna talk about? 
<笑>もしこのまま二人同時に楓と付き合っていくとして I like they still like there's no thing for like we and her and him and shit. They actually use each other's name. I'm like key. Mushi. Mushi. Motta. Shin Mitsna Kankani Natta. Let's very much make this clear. It can be one of you or the other of you. Or it could be both of you. It's up to all of us, baby. And it's up to the- that shit is situational. Yeah. Hell yeah, we gonna fuck. Which is weird that hasn't already happened. But that would be off-screen shit that would probably not be talked about. I I mean, this isn't a traditional situation, so it is kind of like a thing that they would talk about. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah! You're away! Hero me, baby! <laughs> you trying to take that first spot? You trying to be the best waifu for laifu again? <laughs> Cause you getting there. Anata da kara yo, Mieko. Hmm. She's like, I'm okay if I do things with another whammons or if it's with my mans and another whammons. As long as it's you, girl. <laughs> Damn, that took a really, like, ooh, kind of turn. I did not expect her to say that to her. Look at the upside-down, tight V-mouth. <laughs> what are you talking about? Mieko. Yeah, I think that's exactly what she's saying. She's okay if I have sex with my man and you're having sex with my man and I might have to have sex with you while we're having sex with my man. Our man. Oh. That is a new face! <laughs> that is a horny face! That is a shy, sexy face! That is a... Oh, who kind of face? That is a thinking about that situation face. I do love this as a thumbnail right there. But I also kind of like the text on the screen of it, too. <laughs> so, yeah... It may have to be the text on the screen, too. Or maybe it might be just that, but still. Oh my god, that face! That seductive face. Dude, that's a big step between people who have been friends for a long-ass time. That's a big step. And this is a big step just in general with this relationship. It's a very... Uh, like uncommon kind of step, I believe. But uh, hey, if she's up for it, then uh, giggity. <laughs> so, so I mean, no. If you're all up for it, then you're up for it. Like, what the fuck? Don't judge what you have by other what people have by the other people have and what they do. You do or your own thing. Allowed by who? Like I said before, if y'all want to do this shit, y'all can do this shit and fuck everybody else. Kaeto. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And it's also okay if both of you who be doing things with him at once at the same time. Nice. Yeah, now you're about to go from the leap to best friend to love heirs. <laughs> okay. This is incredibly sweet and really hot at the same time. The two of them draw closer to one another. Wait, 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 wait. I remember this. There's a CG of them in the water making out. I'm pretty sure that's what the CG of this episode is going to be. As much as I really like those faces, and I might have to take a screenshot just in case I make that like the monthly, like, highlights uh, episode uh, thumbnail, maybe? But I believe that this scene is about to become incredibly horny, and they're about to start making out. Um, what? Hold on, hold on. They wrap their arms around each other. Wait, wait, what? What am I witnessing? They're moving their relationship into the next motherfucking step, boy. They're gonna make out with each other before they've even made out with you, Kaede. Nice. Please do not ruin it with stupid music. Do they both have feelings for each other? Were they attracted to each other this entire time? Or at least more recently? And because of him, they are finally expressing it. Am I at the third wheel here? Wait a second. Wait a second. Am I the third wheel here? Because they've liked each other all along and wanted to be each other, but this is like the push they needed to be with each other. Maybe they would have found this out eventually and would have gotten together. Is Kayede the third wheel in this relationship? Do they have feelings for each other and me at the same time, too? They're both... They're both... I feel like I am intruding here. <laughs> yeah, this is how they end up in the pool, I guess. Before I know what happens, they both slip. They're gonna be underwater making out with each other. With a loud splash, they fall into the pool. This is fucking weird, right? Like, this is meant to be, like, build up and hot, but this is slightly weird to me. Are those two okay? They will be. <laughs> I immediately dive in after them. The vast blue void before me stretches out on forever. He's going to dive underneath, turn around, and they're going to be like... <laughs> As I look around, I see two murky shapes before me. I reach out to them, but... Decide to watch instead. This... This isn't what I expected. Oh, the music cut off so it can get sexy time.
The hell was that? What? And there it is. <laughs> Ooh, that booty pop! Damn, girl! I don't think I've gotten to see Hero May's booty before. Nice! <laughs> this is really good. Like, it's underwater, and there's bubbles everywhere, and there's sparklies of underneath the water and on top of the surface. This is nice. Oh my god! I forgot about the smoochy scene! I forgot about the smoochy CG! Holy fuck! My sister is texting me and it's kind of breaking the fucking moment! Yeah, I know. Okay, now after this, I'm not fucking, I'm ignoring her. Oh, baby. The smushiness, the finger touching, the booty pop, the meow. <laughs> The eye closed with like Miyako a little more on the reserve side, her eyes a little more slant closed, and like, mm, hair may go, like, yeah. <laughs> this is nice. Floating in almost serene grace, the two of them are entwined in each other. Pressing up against each other, their flesh seems to become a blur. That's weird. Their lips are locked. Their eyes are closed. See, once again, I very much feel like the third wheel here. Like, now more than ever, man. Like, look at this. I don't even need to be here. Like, obviously, but I really don't need to be here. Like, they kind of just made a confession to each other and just went for it. And I'm like... Would this have happened without me? Do I even need to be here? Should I even be here? What? Flowing hair circles all around them. It seems like an otherworldly moment. Frozen in time as they both swirl in the pools of blue depths. It feels as if an eternity is passing in these few moments. Yeah, it is kind of because I keep checking my messages. Their hands are interlocked in a death grip. What? Why would you describe it that way? That's so weird. And they're not. <laughs> they're touching fingertips. A death grip. Kaede, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> You're like, oh my god, it's a death grip. It's far from that. Both of them, they look so happy. Yeah, you don't need to be here. <laughs> you don't need to be in this relationship. They can have their fun. In this moment, they are the only ones in this water world. You just keep reinforcing what I'm saying. I'm just an outsider observer! <laughs> I'm so glad that Kaede realized she's the third wheel as well. I'm so glad that he doesn't fucking matter in the least bit. The distance between them and I, it would be comparable to a galaxy. Oh my god! That's so, like... Holy shit! <laughs> like, oh no. Feels like I'm watching this from far, far away. You are? They could give no fucks and this really doesn't matter. I wonder how long these feelings were there. Wow, I am just like... I am just like nailing what I've been saying like the last few minutes that this was about them that they had these feelings for each other they kind of unlocked them and um confessed them and then did this and it's like Kaede fucking who like if the swim club would have kept going and shit would this have still happened 
if I was not here, Kaede didn't exist? Very much feels that way. Yet, somehow, I've been caught up in the middle of this. Yeah. So, we all love each other. That's how it is. I mean, you can look at it that way, as if it's awesome that they are attracted to each other, and they like each other, and they wanted to be with each other, and are going to be with each other. And with me. <laughs> it's nice that they're not just two people that are friends or like acquaintances or something that are both in love with this dude and uh, make it awkward because it's like we both love him and we just tolerate each other being in this relationship. It's kind of nice that all three of them are actually attracted to each other and actually love each other because it would be kind of weirder if they weren't. Like, I love you, I love him, we love each other, we both love him, we all love each other and want to be with each other and we'll definitely do stuff to each other. And we all want to be in this relationship with him and ourselves. So it's not just all circulating around Kaede, it's circulating between all three of them. That's really good. <laughs> Like, in my opinion, that's really good. It would be really hard to be in a relationship with two people that didn't want to be in a relationship with each other. And, yeah, especially when this was, like, all focused on him. It's kind of nice that they're focusing on each other and building that relationship as well. Because then they can be together whenever, and we can be all together. And we can, like, we're all equals here is what I'm saying. Especially with our love for each other, rather than just for me, for him. I'm rambling and trying to, like, repeat myself to make sure it comes out right. But y'all understand what I'm saying, right? Like, this is beautiful. The fact that they're like, we like each other too. It's like, that's so good. A precious moment between two friends. <laughs> no, I would be wrong to call them just friends now. Yeah! Yeah! They have taken a step beyond that. Yeah, and that's a very good thing. But what would be the right word for this? Hot. <laughs> I'm just at a loss. Okay, let's move on then. Was I the one who allowed them to cross that threshold? Yeah, make it about you. There's there's no other word than this the love. Despite how shocked I am, I think this is one of the most beautiful moments that I've ever seen. Yup. <laughs> It seems to go on forever. Eventually, they part lips. Yeah, it is beautiful to see two people that care about each other recognize their feelings for each other and express it. <laughs> and stare into each other's eyes. Neither of them are can speak a word. They're saying to each other everything they need to. Yeah, they're also underwater, so how would that work? With the speaking words. <laughs> Slowly, they drift back up to the surface, rays of light dancing around them as they ascend. This is a really beautiful, beautiful, powerful scene. I like it. It's as if two angels are ascending to heaven. Oh, for fuck's sake, Kayane. Rising beyond a blue, cold world. <laughs> the face is returned. <laughs> for a moment, the both of them just sit on the pool's edge. They don't say a single word. I think they don't know that I saw everything, too. Yeah, it was. Hell yes! Oh no, they've noticed me. This is gonna be awkward. Did you assume I left? Did you forget I exist? You totally forgot I existed. Did you forget all about me? <laughs> That's okay. Because this wasn't about me. This was about the two of you. <laughs> but, uh, wow. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I think the final decision in this game is yeah, I did. <laughs> Uh, yes, it's yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, don't lie to them. Be honest about it. <laughs> yes, I did. 
That was a long pause, Kaede, yes? Damn! Miyako's shock face is even bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It looks like she's gonna unhinge her jaw. <laughs> like, holy shit, look how big that fucking... That is a shock Pikachu face if I've ever seen a shock Pikachu face. <laughs> <coughs> holy shit! <laughs> that is the very incarnation of that. That's not what she said, and it didn't really sound like her yip anyway. <laughs> Both of them retreated to the changing rooms, and... God, why are you all such embarrassed idiots when it comes to this shit? Well, they're closer now. Looks like they may go on denying these feelings a little longer, though. Ellipses, thank you, Paladin here! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, we gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the Unlocked Feelings episode of Sakura Swim Club. Oh! Yay! Guys, thank you so much for watching. I am at a loss of fucking words. This is another episode of this recording session where I'm just not going to do my usual outro. You know the things by now. You should know the things. So do the things that make me and the YouTube happy. But, oh my god. To see how we got here. Go back and watch Sakura Swim Club. See how this all happened. <laughs> we are on uh, over episode 30. What is this one? 33? I think it's like 33. So yeah, there was a build up to this. Go, go watch the series up until this point, please. <laughs> Thank you guys. I love you all to death. Never ever get that. And wow. Wow. <laughs> I love you guys. Never ever forget that. And I will see you fellow knights in the later time. Bye guys. In the last five episodes, there have been four CGs. Holy crap. <laughs> And they just escalated. Oh, it's so nice. It's so beautiful. I wasn't even really turned on by that. It was just very beautiful. And very, like, attractive. But it was very intimate and very sweet. Okay, I love you guys. Bye! <laughs>